Hola. 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 Hola, bom dia, bom dia. Sofia is here is for our first Portuguese lesson of the week. I think maybe later down the line we might increase it to a couple if we can afford it because <laughs> we definitely need more practice. And why do you have these ears on? Hmm? The Aurelias de Coelho. Coelha. Because her hair is going right in her eyes all the time. It's so long now. You want to get down? You don't have any shoes on, I forgot your sabatos. I should go and get them really. I decided to spend the morning outside with Story while Sasha has her lesson. How's that sound? Whoa, look at that dig dig. Ooh. You want me to take Nair? Yeah. And this is real dig dig, isn't it? From Fregueira de Foz. Oh. Do you remember we got this sand yesterday? Oh, today. Yeah. So if you saw Saturday's weekend vlog, you'll know we went to Fregueira de Foz, took Story to the beach. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> uh oh. Pick it up. Yeah, okay. We wanted to just spend the day out, and also we wanted to get Story some sand because we only live an hour from the beach. It made sense to go and get some real sand. I'm actually thinking about adding some water to it so that it denses together and you'll be able to compact it down and make little shapes with it. Build sand castles. Here we go. Story is nicely occupied. Everything she could possibly want. <laughs> Thermometer's reading about 18 degrees today. There's not as many bees when the sun's not out, I've noticed. They seem to like the sunny weather. I don't think the sun is going to come out at all today. <laughs> Look at that. It's thick. It's the kind of weather that looks like it's going to turn into a thunderstorm. I think Eden likes this weather though. Look at her. No panting. Leisurely walking around. You exploring the sand textures. Story is always happiest when she's outdoors. She's so much easier to entertain out here. Normally when we're doing our Portuguese lessons with Sofia, she's inside with us and she starts getting a bit agitated after about 20-30 minutes because she can hear one of us is outdoors and then we have to kind of block off. Oh no. Oh no, you spilt the sand all over yourself, didn't you? The dig dig all fell on you, didn't it? You not being covered in sand? Or not? <laughs> it's okay. Having the Portuguese lessons with a teacher is definitely helping us to progress more than what we were doing by ourselves. And Sophia is a really, really nice teacher. We were a little bit worried about having a teacher to start with. She's made us feel really comfortable. If anybody's looking for a Portuguese teacher, I'll put her link in the description below because she's really helped us. And I definitely think that without her help, it would take much longer for us to learn how to speak Portuguese. And also, if you're a Portuguese speaker that wants to learn English, she does that too. And she does lessons via Skype. Oh, so if you don't live in the area, it doesn't matter. No excuses, a eh, story. <laughs> You're going to have to learn Portuguese if you stay here. We all are. Why? What have you seen? Why do you keep saying throw it away? Oh, you've seen that tiny little bug hanging down. This is what Story's looking at. There's some little thing hanging from a web here. It's fascinating her. Yeah? What do you think of that? It's the boys. Yeah, nature. Okay, let's utilise the rest of the garden now, Story. I should put this away really because you just keep looking at it and I need to go in here. Yeah, you put the ball in there, didn't you? Can you get it? Look, story, let me show you daddy's football skills. <laughs> daddy's not very good at football. Go on, you kick it. No, 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 throw the ball, kick the ball. Use your foot. Use your toes. Can you kick it? I know you can because I've seen you do it before. Story? You want to do swing swing? Yeah, you want to go in there and do swing swing? Yeah. Swing swing. 
Have fun. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a relaxing morning. It's almost time for Daddy's lesson. I don't know why, but even though we do these lessons every week, I still get a little bit nervous every time it starts up. Story has requested to go outside. Do you want to go and see the land? I was looking at this land the other day thinking, you can't really get a tractor in here. I can't see an entrance for it anyway. Let's see if you can get a tractor on the other side. Step over all these leaves and weeds. There's a wall here and there's a tree. Maybe you could get really, oh, okay, hang on. You could get a small tractor in there, I guess. That's probably the only way I could see you could get in to do some farming of that land without having to do it by hand. Dose. It means done, doesn't it, when you say dose. You have to, under, you have to learn how to say done. Purple, yes, purple flowers. You're looking at these, aren't you? Purple. What colour? What colour is that? Purple. Purple, good girl. Why are you purple? Yeah, purple flowers. All right, let's go back in. Jay's in there now That's having his chair. turn. It was a really good lesson yeah. today. I felt quite I confident with it. it and learnt some new stuff. I'm now looking after Story. <laughs> she requested to watch the vlog where she did Splash Splash. She loves watching the vlogs. Is that funny? This is one of the weekend vlogs where we were just playing in the garden and Story was having some time in the paddling pool. While Story's still engrossed in the vlog, I'm just looking through some of the work from today. This was my homework from last week. I got it all correct, so I'm happy about that. Today we've been learning numbers, but the bigger numbers like the hundreds and the thousands and answering some questions and pronouncing out the larger numbers. So I've just been looking through that while it's still fresh in my brain, in my memory. So I'm going to try something. I'm going to say Il nasi dia desh de fevereiro mil novecentos e oitenta which should be, I was born 10th of February 1984. And another one, Story nasceu ein If I said it correctly, Story was born in 2016. It's just a case of repeating them over and over, I feel. So I'm going to try and do a bit more of that today. And if you watched yesterday's vlog, you will know what this sentence is. Nós famos? A Playa de Figueira de Forge on time, which is we went to the beach at Figueira de Forge yesterday. <laughs> oh, I can hear story. Oh, what happened? Did the video stop? You want to watch that one now? That's a it says beautiful ambient mix. You want to do some music? Okay. Ah. It's a car, yeah. <laughs> It's actually almost nap time for Story, so a little bit of ambient music might help the situation. <laughs> I'm gonna go and try and put it down for a nap now. All right, my lesson is done. Story has refused her nap today. She's just playing with some cornflakes. You're just playing with those now, yeah? You don't want to sleep. You're making a cocktail with some water. <laughs> it's agua, isn't it? And do you want some coffee in your little cup? <laughs> I keep forgetting, I can't really say things around Story anymore if I don't actually want to follow through. Now that I've said the word coffee, she's just come running in here. She had her little cup with her and I said, do you want a coffee? And she's come running here looking for coffee now. We're making a juice, do you want to help me make juice? How about juice, Story? You want broccoli now? Oh, we don't actually have any broccoli. Banana. Banana, Yay, good girl. Good banana. Yes. Yeah. Juice. We'll make a juice. Water, yes. Cabbage. Kind of. He's a cabbage? Daddy. <laughs> you put that in, put it in the water. And this bit. Good girl. My Portuguese lesson went better this week than last week. I think we were talking about when our car broke down the other day and we were trying to practice sentences that I could use if it ever happens again in the village. So I find that very useful. It's a great way for me to learn because I can apply it to real life. Our lessons are very different, aren't they, Sash? Yeah. 
they they go in different directions. They started in the same place, but now they go different ways. Did you go over numbers today? Yeah, we did numbers today. I found that I struggled with numbers over a thousand. Yeah. They're really tough, actually. <laughs> it's probably because you don't really use numbers higher than 30s, 40s, 50s in day-to-day -day life in cafes and restaurants. It's only when you need to get like a car fixed that you start needing the hundreds or the thousands, if that happens to you. Dates of birth. Dates of birth. And I'm sure, Story, you'll keep us on our toes with the Portuguese as you get older. <laughs> put it in the juice then. In that bit. Should we put mango in this one too, Story? What do you think? Mango? Really nice juice. We're probably going to need to go to the shops a bit later. Sasha's just editing a vlog over there. Story is climbing the sofa precariously with some flakes in a bowl. Although I'm quite impressed that you haven't spilled any of that so far. <laughs> You're getting a personality, aren't you? It's growing, just like you. Yes, do I get some water? There's no lid on that. Well done, that's very neat. Whoa, very clean. Good girl. So quite a few hours have passed. We've actually been to the china shop and returned. Story's now having some dinner. She's got... It's lunch and breakfast mixed together. She hasn't really been in an eating mood today. Compromise, mashed avocado and oats. <laughs> How's your green porridge, Story? Are you enjoying it? <laughs> or are you just too concerned about Dig Dig at the moment? Sasha and I have got some sunglasses. <laughs> China shop sunglasses special. No. Lidl. <laughs> oh yeah, it was Lidl, wasn't it? Yeah. Because that's how we roll. <laughs> well, does the job protect the eyes? Yeah. And I've been working on a little gardening project. <laughs> Look what I'm starting to do here. When our teacher Sophia came this morning and saw our green beans up on the balcony, she said, the pots are too small, you need to plant them in something. So I dug out this little grave, <laughs> which is probably what it's going to turn into. It's probably not the right soil. And I'm going to see if we can actually plant them with a bit more space because they are dying up there. We've been watering them daily, but she said that each bean plant needs about a foot space between each one for them to survive. Oh, look at that. I planted some celery the other day and it's already growing. Wow. I said celery, but I meant lettuce. We got a little head growing on there. Oh, that's really cool. I know this must seem so basic for any gardeners out there, but for me, who kills every plant I've touched, to see something growing is extra exciting. So these beans here, before they die, I'm going to try and see if I can replant them around the garden. I'm going to let that soak in. It should make it a little bit easier to dig dig. Oh. It's not a bath, no, this is just a little <laughs> muddy pit. Okay, we're not going in this. Yeah, ee, dirty. You go play with your sand, daddy's gonna try and dig a hole. Good girl. Okay, story couldn't resist. Oh! <laughs> well, if you're gonna help, help properly. She's absolutely desperate to get in here, I can tell. She just wants to go and sit in it and get really muddy. She couldn't resist helping daddy. Jay's made a bit of progress digging up the soil. There's a lot of stones under here though. <laughs> Are you done? Did you realise you didn't want to be dirty after all? <laughs> oh, she wants the real, the real tools. Oh, we don't do that. <laughs> Come on in. Oh. <laughs> Too heavy? Oh, is it a bit hard? The stone. Did you get it out? Making progress. The sun is going down now. Story's gone to bed and I'm almost finished with my little veg garden here. I replanted the beans like Sophia said and to the right of them we've planted some rocket leaves. I'm excited to see if this actually turns into anything. It feels good to be touching the earth and seeing things grow and hopefully we'll learn more about this as time goes on. <laughs> Should just give a little thumbs up? First ever time splashing around in the puddles. <laughs> the dress playing in the wind. So many cool things in here. We've just gone underneath the staircase. So picturesque. Guess what? That's yours. <laughs>